What is up, YouTube? This is the Hollywood Raw channel where we take a dive into entertainment news like you have never seen before. Today, we are linking up with our podcast co host and celebrity photojournalist, Adam Glenn. Adam takes footage and sells it to outlets like People Magazine, Us Weekly, and ESPN. Come follow along with us. Who are we going to see today? I don't know. Try to find some people. Hopefully, people are in a good mood today. The weather's good. Uh, you never know. That's the fun part of it. Honestly, we just have some fun. That's the, that's the best part of it. Who are we about to see? So we're on our way to go check out a Lynn manuel Miranda tip. I cannot wait. Is there Thank anything you can tell about your movie that like, I hope you love it. Oh, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, So people ask me all the time, how do you find these celebrities? 20% comes of celebrities themselves, 20% from the publicists, 20% from the venues, 20% from my tipsters, 20% from me running into them. Sometimes a celebrity will say, uh, hey, having a tweet out, having a great lunch at Cipriani. Hey, how'd you know it's here? You just tweet out your dessert, you idiot. <laughs> so sometimes the publicists will reach out to me and say, hey, do you mind getting my client? And then 20% comes from me just kind of getting lucky and just walking around New York City. Yeah. That's the most fun part, you know, because it's exciting, you know? How can you not get excited? It's New York City, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. How back to normal is everything? Uh, everything's good, man. Everything's kind of, I wouldn't say back to normal, but you can still make it work. You can still have fun. Uh, you can still go out there and make something of it. Who's the one celebrity that you think gets a really hard time, but like it's undeserving? I heard someone is actually a very nice person. I think some people kind of don't give her the credit she deserves for her what she's done to business and how she uses the media to her advantage. But he's very intelligent, very smart. And I just hope that one day people get her the, uh, the respect to her name that she deserves. And how about um, internet famous people? I mean, I love Josh Richards. I think what he does is fun and exciting. I love, uh, you know, I love Logan Paul. I think what he does is fun. I love the Nelk Boys. Adam Glenn's average day is doing this. You're seeing celebrities and stuff. At night, you do stand up. You know, pre pandemic, I was doing about seven shows a week. Now, I'm probably doing about doing three right shows now. a week on average. Uh, you know, so it's fun, you know, long days, long nights, but you know, that's like the uh, the cool part, the most exciting part, the fun part. I see celebrities at night too, so it's pretty good. We're going to meet up with this called Maitland Ford. She's an adult film star, but uh, she, you know, a lot of people know from Boy Meets World. She's in town right now filming a pilot, so I kind of reached out and was like, hey, can I talk to you real quick? And she was like, yeah. yeah Maitland, how you doing? Hi. Good to see you, New York City. I can't believe we're in New York here and I'm seeing you. I can't believe it. It's very exciting. But you're in New York City. You're working on a co very cool project. Yes. Your own TV pilot. I mean, yes. this is pretty. Tell me about the show. Oh, it's so exciting. We've been filming so late, like every night and all day and everything. Um, it's a sitcom, which I'm back into the sitcom world. Yeah. But, but it's kind of life mirroring art, mirroring life, because it's about the adult industry. It's about a failing adult industry studio, and I have to raise it from the grave. You're one of the top yeah. people, yes. individuals on OnlyFans. <laughs> Isn't that insane? It's amazing. It's crazy. I have such a great fan base, and it's grown so exponentially. It's like six figures a month. So it's like six figures a month. Yeah. I would That's roughly say, and this might not be average, but you are the most highest earning person ever come out of Boy Meets World. Me oh, wow, that's that's blowing my mind. Yeah, I would say that. That's <laughs> and for a porn star, that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're crushing it. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. You all so right. Much. Thank you. Uh, it was cool to meet her, and I was she, she's just very nice. I appreciate good people that are just nice, having fun, good attitudes, and good energy. She's doing some cool things. I mean, she's got a Simon Schuster book deal. She's got a, a TV show pilot right now. I mean, she's crushing it. So good for her. Props yeah. to her. Right now we're in uh, Chelsea. We're going to move our way towards Soho. We're going to take a few laps, see if we get lucky. How you feeling? You feel good? You yeah. Feel lucky? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get lucky. Feeling lucky. All right, Adam. So after getting the shot, what's like the process? So right now I got the shot. What I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, eventually later on tonight I'm gonna edit it. I mean, barely edit it, but I will like, clean it up, and hit it up to news outlets, and put it on my YouTube, put it on my social medias and stuff, uh, and just spread the word. I don't wait for them to come to me. I come to them. If I ever want to interview Shaquille O'Neal, Ronda Rousey, Mariah Carey, LeBron James, and I said to the first person, said, "Hey, I want you to do my talk show." The first person will pick up the phone and say, "Sorry, we're not interested." Click. But I realize if I get to them, if I find them. They will do my talk show, and that's what makes it fun. What do you edit on? I do. I don't know how to fucking. Okay. Listen, I know nothing about. I know nothing about cameras. People every day ask me about my camera. I'm like, listen, I know nothing about cameras. <laughs> how did you get into this? Uh, I fell into this from doing stand comedy. You know, I graduated college in 2006. Couldn't get a job. Couldn't get an interview. Uh, so I'm doing odd jobs. Went back to school. Got my teaching certification. Trying to get by. Didn't know what to do my life. But the whole entire time I was doing stand up comedy. I did a show in 2009, some of the guys were doing funny. Uh, 
Uh, some of the crowds that you see funny, not threatening, no pop culture, would you be in a job at TMZ? I said, listen, I'll do anything for health insurance. So I took the job. I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, I just started doing it and started running around doing these interviews. People would slam the door in my face and tell me to get a job, tell me to get a real life. And I like didn't know what I was doing. I didn't feel good about it. So I had to use my skills from being a comedian to my advantage and trying to have good experiences with people. And by that, I kind of changed the narrative from paparazzi to journalists. And I started to have really good interactions with a lot of the huge celebrities. And Shaquille O'Neal was the first one to take me under his wing. And uh, that's how it really kind of started getting going. It took time, you know. It, it, you know, when I first started, people would slam the door in my face. Now, not every time. They'll, you know, they'll be like, "What's your deal?" And you know what? I think people respect the hustle. How did you get connected with Shaq? Met him on the street, and uh, you know, my job, my goal when I first started was for every single time a celebrity came to New York. I wanted to cross paths with them. You know, I wanted to know who I was. So that's what happened. They didn't know my name necessarily, but they would know my face. And then they know I wasn't a bad guy. Then they realized I wasn't there to harm them. And then they realized I was a person because some days they would say, hey, not today. I put the camera down and walk away. And based on doing that, uh, it was just sort of, eventually you gotta ask me what my name is. Eventually you gotta ask me what my deal is. And we just started getting to know each other and build a good relationship. Today was a good day. We got Maitland Ward, uh, and she dropped some news about her book being launched. We got Travis Scott. Travis, what's up, bud? Even though he didn't talk to me, he was close to Travis Scott. I gave that tip to other paparazzi so they should make money. We saw Alec Baldwin, but it was so quick we couldn't even get the cameras out. There's no typical day. As long as I get the workout in and then, you know, I get to go out and try to walk around the city and kind of explore and have fun. I mean, it's, I would be doing that for free, but I can't tell them, then they won't pay me. Yeah. Who are the New York uh, celebrities you see the most frequent? Guys like Michael Rappaport a lot. I see um, Spike Lee a lot, you know, randomly. Chris Rock Okay. A lot. You know, but it's also what you consider a celebrity. I see people like Colin Quinn all the time and other, okay. you know, funny comedians, Gilbert Goff and people like that. So. You never know what you're gonna see. Like today, I wasn't planning on seeing Travis Scott. And within a split second, I said, oh my God, someone's coming out. I guarantee something good. Who comes out? Travis Scott, one of the biggest rappers in the world. Pretty wild. Yeah. You know, no one else saw him except us, so pretty cool. And that's a day in the life of an entertainment reporter covering some of the biggest celebrities on the streets. If you have any questions for Adam, drop them in the comments and I will make sure we get them answered. Please give us a subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future interviews that send shockwaves throughout Hollywood.